everyone, welcome back to the Vegetastic Mum Kitchen. I hope you're all well. It is a very hot day here today. It is 32 degrees, one of the hottest days that we have had so far this year. Um, so we're all staying inside a little bit today, um, staying in the shade. Um, Evie suffers quite badly with hay fever, so um, she's not a very happy bunny. So uh, we're just sitting in where it's cool and trying to keep her happy. So um, I thought I would pop in the kitchen and do a video for you today. Uh, and today we are going to be making air fryer stuffed peppers. So let's go take a look at what we need and I hope you enjoy. So for this recipe today, I am just using two medium sized red bell peppers. You can use yellow, you can use green, a any color is fine, but I had two red ones, so I'm using those. I have got five tablespoons of chopped tomatoes with Italian herbs, four tablespoons of red kidney beans that I've rinsed and washed, four tablespoons of tomato passata, 200 grams of cooked and cooled, I've used basmati, basmati rice, uh, but you can use whatever rice you like. I've got a plate here of mixed cheddar and mozzarella. Um, I've probably got I've probably got about 100 grams here um, and I've just mixed it all together on a plate. You're going to want some mixed herbs, salt and pepper. So the first thing that you'll need to do that I have already prepared is I have cut the tops off our peppers. I've de-seeded them but I have kept the top bits because we're gonna chop these up and they're also gonna be used in our recipe. So I'm just gonna pop these peppers to one side for a moment. And as I say, I'm just gonna chop these up and we're gonna use the tops of them in our recipe. We're not wasting anything. There we go. Right. Now, what we're going to do is you're going to want a mixing bowl. We're going to pop our peppers in. our rice our kidney beans tomatoes and passata I'm going to want some pepper some pepper in and some salt and then you're going to want your mixed herbs and you're going to pop a generous amount of mixed herbs probably hmm, one and a half tablespoons I think of mixed herbs and then with some of your cheese you're just going to take a good half a handful of cheese maybe a little bit more maybe a handful of cheese and just sprinkle that in you're going to need to keep half of this because we're going to put this on the top as well when it's nearly finished so I'll just put that to one side then you're going to want a spoon and we are going to mix all of this together I've probably got enough mixture here for more than two peppers but what I shall do is pop this in another bowl in the fridge and probably get a couple more peppers tomorrow okay simple so that's what we're wanting then you're going to want to take your peppers and you're going to fill your peppers with your rice mixture pressing it down 
as you go. Now for me, you can have these with other things, you know, as sort of a main with vegetables or, you know, anything like that. But for me, with the rice inside them, they are quite filling. So I find that just having one of these is enough for me. Um, but again, it depends, I guess, on how big your peppers are and whether you're having it as part of a, a main meal. So but you can serve these with whatever you like yeah i've got plenty of mixture left so what i'll do is pop the rest of that mixture in a tub in the fridge and i'll uh, use it up tomorrow there we go so they're stuffed nicely and i've squashed them down there we are right now we are going to pop these in the air fryer now. Okay, so I'm using the cassori today. I've got a liner in there ready. And we're going to pop our peppers into the cassori. Like so. And we are going to cook these on 185 for 12 minutes. So these have just beeped after their 12 minutes. So, oh, they're looking nice. We'll just pull these out. As you can see, they are looking lovely. And we've just now got the rest of our cheese. And we're gonna pop, squash some cheese just onto the top. Make sure you squash it down so it doesn't fly around in the air fryer. Squash some of your cheese onto the top. And we are going to pop these back in on 185 again, just for three minutes. And obviously the reason that we leave the cheese to last and then just pop it on for an extra three minutes is so that it doesn't burn on the top. Okay, so these are now finished. So let's pull them out and have a look. They look absolutely gorgeous. Let's get one on a plate and take a closer look. Okay, so here we are lovely baked pepper all the cheese is melted it smells gorgeous so there we have it i think it's time for a taste test okay so i'm going to cut through this so that you can see what it's like in the middle this could be messy so bear with me so Oh, as I said, I knew it was going to be messy. Stick my fork in there. That's it. Smells good, doesn't it, Evie? Yeah. Okay. Look at that. That looks really good. So what's in that? So there are rice, tomatoes, cheese, kidney beans, pepper. Just bring this in. What sort of rice is that? Is that like just normal rice? Just or? plain basmati rice. Steaming hot all the way through. I thought it, it was like bean juice in there. <laughs> no, right. I'm going to taste this. So. Pepper, still got a little bit of crunch to it, but that's what you want. You don't want an overcooked pepper because it'll go soggy and then everything will just fall out. So it's good to have a bit of the crunch still there. So... Bless you, <laughs> Right. It's very hot. Cool. Mmm. Oh, 
that is really, really nice. Really nice. And to say that this has only got salt, pepper and some mixed herbs in, the flavour is lovely. Really good. Mm -hmm. mm. I really, really enjoy this. And as I say, just one of these on its own is filling enough, I think. Um, but you can have them as part of a main meal with other things, you know, vegetables, things like that. So I'm just going to, Evie is going to try these. Did you like make more than one or did you just make the one? Because I saw you like cut up two. Uh, no, I've, I've made I've made a couple and I've got some of the mix left. So I'll pop that in the fridge and I'll have to oh. get some more peppers. So just pop this on a fork for Evie. There we go, Evie. And Evie's going to come and try. Now, Evie's not a massive fan of peppers or kidney beans. But she's or tomatoes. Agreed... Or tomatoes. <laughs> but she has agreed to give this a go, so we'll see if we, uh, if we can convert her into liking them. Okay, Evie. My peppers just fell. That's it. Okay. It reminds me of something that you baked before with the smell of it. I have made these before. Give it a try. It smells like the pizza pockets you made. <laughs> mm, that's not a look of hate. <laughs> what do you think? Mm hmm But it's, you're just still not a fan of peppers. I like peppers. It's just the kidney beans. I don't really like kidney beans. You don't like the kidney beans. Okay, fair enough. Well, well done for trying, though. But you don't hate it. No? I have a bit of cheese. So that is it for this video. Um, another quite simple throw-together recipe, but really tasty. So if you have a go at it, let me know in the comments below. Um... But yeah, this is a, is a hit for me. I, I quite like stuffed peppers um, and you don't have to go to a lot of effort. So yeah, win-win for me. Um, on a different note, uh, hay fever. If any of you have any tips and tricks <laughs> on how to help Evie with her hay fever, it's, just, it's awful, isn't it? Bless you. Um, then please drop me some comments with any ideas, any even any that you think is a bit out there. I'm willing to try. Um, we're currently um, washing her eyes out and putting cucumber slices on her <laughs> eyes. So uh, it, At least it, it works. Well, yeah, it does work. So you can't get any any weirder than that. So um, as I Certainly. say, drop me yeah, <laughs> drop me some comments if you've got any suggestions because I am willing to try anything to try and help her with this. So that is it for this video today. Um, I hope you enjoyed it, and we will see you on the next one. Take care for now. Bye.